Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today, our goal is to get our hands on the Fire Veil Wand. This is honestly becoming a very good weapon that I've been seeing a bunch of people with, so I looked into it, and it has a really cool ability, so I wanted to get one for myself. In order to do that, we have to take on 10 Ash Fangs behind me to get 10 Lumino Fibers to actually craft this thing. So that's the goal for today's episode. We're going to craft it, kit it out, test it, and uh, kill a bunch of Ash Fangs in the process. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, don't forget to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing so you don't miss any future Iron Man uploads. And uh, without further ado, let's get ready to jump right into this one. Before we do get fully under way if you do find yourself checking out on the high pixel store don't forget to use code zach on checkout you can save yourself five percent and that does stack with upcoming sales that are coming to the high pixel store so you'll get an additional five percent off using code zach z-a-c-h highly recommend it it does directly support me save yourself some money and uh, in the process support the channel i do greatly appreciate each and every one of you who does but without further ado into today's episode since the crimson isle came up there's something i haven't actually upgraded too much and that is my crimson armor set so this is something i've been wanting to upgrade that's like the best berserker or melee armor set outside the dungeons once you get up to the higher tiers i'm not sure at what point it becomes better than necron uh currently each piece is giving me like how much health and defense for example uh about 60 strength and about 384 health 126 defense my necron's chest plate does give me 79 strength 408 health and 201 defense so it's actually a little bit better at the time being but if i start this it actually gets way better as you work your way to like infernal kudra this armor set actually becomes insane so that is the overall goal obviously this isn't something we can do today but i can put some stars onto it however so Currently, I have them all based here at seven stars, I believe, on all three of my crimson pieces. Not working on the helmet because I do just wear my warden helm, but we're going to go ahead and try and put some stars on this stuff. So I have a stack of 46 heavy pearls. I need to start trying to get more of those, but uh, let's just start adding some stats to these. So that's going to be 256k. Uh, let's do that one. Then we're going to do the same thing to the leggings. I have a decent amount of essence, so I'm kind of just going to go until I run out of that. So that's all eight starred. Let's go and get this to, what is that, nine starred now? That should be, yeah, nine starred Ancient Crimson on the chest plate. Nine starred on the leggings. Nine starred on the boots. Now, each one of these tiers should be a million. This is where it kind of gets a little bit pricey for us fellow Iron Mans, but this will be 10 starred now. So let's do that. Beautiful. These should all be 10 starred. Uh, let me check really quickly. They are beautiful. Now, if I toss this in, oh, this is where the Kudra teeth come in. Okay, I did not know this part to upgrade it to hot. I did not know that. I think I can only do this to one piece then. So let me go ahead and look. How many Kudra teeth do I have? I haven't done too, too many runs. I shouldn't have a ton, but I should have some. Okay, I can do it to two pieces. I do have 20. Let's go ahead and upgrade our chest plate and our leggings, I guess. So let's do that like so. And our leggings. Uh, okay, there we go. Boom. There we go. We got that. And then let's just go back and forth and star these for as much as we can until it costs money or... Or something again so there we go these should be now on hot hot crimson pieces they are okay so we're starting to start them a bit that should have two stars on each of those this will put to three three stars on the leggings on the chest plate four starred leggings four starred chest plate five starred leggings five starred okay i should be running out of essence here okay there we go i don't have enough essence but now we actually have hot crimson chest plate five starred Hot Crimson Leggings 5-starred, and then we also have 10-starred Crimson Boots. So, honestly, that should be quite the buff from what I had that before. I don't think it's better than my Necron yet. It, wait, it actually might be on health. It is on health. 441, 142. Let me look at my Necron again. That has 408, 201. So, it does have a little bit more defense and more strength. But honestly, it's coming along. So not terrible, but still a little bit of work to do. So the goal today is to kill three more Ash Fangs to get enough Lumino Fibers to craft the Fire Veil Wand. I don't know how hard this is going to be. Um, I haven't fought these guys in the wall. Okay, well, first off, I probably shouldn't mess up. That is a, that is a bad way to start, going to be completely honest. But yeah, so we're, we're going to basically do some Blade Soul, try to do some damage. And uh, these guys are kind of just leaving the Blazing Souls everywhere. Don't mind if I do then. But uh, yeah, there's people in my lobby doing some luckily, so that'll help a little bit. I do find Ashfang to be by far the hardest and most tedious mini boss in the Crimson Isle. So we'll have to see how this goes. I don't have anything that does... Are these melee damage? I, I, oh, these ones are the melee damage. Okay, good. But uh, yeah, he's got 40 million health left. So yeah, we're going to fight this for a while. This is going to take a little bit. And I will cut back and we will take a look at uh, what we get. I mean, maybe we'll drop a Fire Veil Wand because there's like a 0.5% chance to drop one. So that would save me 
all of my materials, which would honestly be super nice, but also very unlikely. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm going to fight this and uh, I'll be back when the boss is complete. And there we go. Ashfang has been defeated. I see a Lumino Fiber and an Enchant Blaze Powder. Actually, I will take that. But we should have eight Lumino Fibers now. So we need two more. We need to kill this boss two more times. Honestly, not terrible. The Fireville one something I've kind of wanted for a while. Not only for the museum, but it's also just a really good item all around. I see everyone rocking that thing, so I kind of want to join that party in that regard. So, uh, kind of excited to get this. Okay, we have finished our second of three Ash Fangs. I'm going to be honest, this one took a little while longer. But we do have our ninth Lumino Fiber, which means... We only need one more, so I'm gonna wait for this thing to respawn. This this group seems to be helping out, so we're gonna we're gonna try and stay there, stay here. One more, so this guy's even he's even wondering. So nine lumino fiber. Is there anything else you can actually use this on? No, it's just the fireville one, so that's good. But uh, yeah, one more to go. Okay, Ashfang is about to die. Please don't miss that. Okay, we need to hit two more orbs. This guy's dragging something over here. I'm about to juice this thing. Oh, and we finished it before then anyways. There we go. That should be our last Lumino Fiber that we actually need for the Fire Veil Wand. That was probably our fastest Ash Fang too, which was uh, honestly pretty satisfying. But there we go. All the materials we need. 10 Spell Powder, 10 Lumino Fibers. And I do actually need a stick. So let me go ahead and grab that. Hopefully we get good attributes. I will not be crafting one of these things for a good while. Doing Ash Fang is just not enjoyable. So... Uh, there's all the materials though. So now that we have everything, let's finally go ahead and craft the Fire Veil Wand. I've heard a lot of great things about this, never actually used it myself, so I'm actually kind of excited to get this thing. But uh, yeah, it has 50 damage, 200 intelligence. Its ability is the main thing though. Fire Veil, when you right click, creates a veil of fire around you for 5 seconds, dealing 58,000 damage per second to mobs within. Uh, and that's actually pretty cool. Mana cost is 300, cooldown every 1 second, which is pretty awesome. And I think that damage scales based on like whatever setup you're rocking. So let's go ahead and craft this thing. Hopefully we get good attributes and boom. Okay, we got Ender grants plus 3% damage against mobs in the end and grants, grants plus 3% damage against the undead. So honestly, could be worse. Not what we were looking for. We were probably looking for Elite. Uh, it was definitely one of the main ones, if I'm not mistaken. But... I mean, we will take what we can get. So I do want to put ultimate wise five on this thing right away though. Okay, that is actually so cool that it follows you. I want to try this on a lot of different things. So I'm going to try and get ultimate wise five on this thing and let's get kitted out really quick. Okay, so the main thing I can do to this is I do have two ultimate four, ultimate wise four books, make ultimate wise five, reduce the ability mana cost of this item by 50%, which is the big thing we're looking for here. So let's open up our hex, drop this bad boy in here, ultimate enchant, ultimate wise. We're going to go with five. I do need 250. Let me grab some XP balls. I had a feeling I needed XP and honestly, I forgot. We'll grab, we'll grab a Titanic. We're going to treat ourselves. Let's go ahead and toss this in here though. Uh, splash a Titanic on ourselves and then ultimate wise five. There we go. Um, and yeah, so it's elite. And what was the other one? Actually, I was kind of spying on death streaks. Fire Veil one to look at this. Let me go ahead and check really quickly. Elite and Ignition were the good ones that we wanted. So maybe eventually we can get our hands on one of these things, but for now we're gonna rock what we have. So the only other thing I can really do to this thing is recom it. There's a couple other things. Like when you look in the hex, it shows you everything you can do to it. So there are actually item upgrades. This thing can be starred and it does increase the damage of it as well as the intelligence it gives. Uh, it is very expensive to actually star, so we will not be starting this thing for a very, very long time. Other modifiers, though, are a Recom, a Mana uh, Disintegrator. Honestly, don't really know what this thing is. I think it's from Blaze Slayer. And then there's Power Scrolls, which might actually be worth putting on, maybe putting on like a Sapphire Power Scroll. So let me look into that real quick. So now that we finally have our hands on the Fire Veil one, first thing I want to do, honestly, is go to the museum and get my Skyblock XP. Don't mind if I do. It should be under the Weapons category. Boom, put that in. 10 free Skyblock XP. Do not mind if I do. Also, now I want to get back out, though, because... I do want to use this thing. I want to test it. I want to try it on some zombies and then also in the end, mainly because of what our two abilities are. I'm curious if this thing like one shots a lot of different mobs that we're going to be grinding a ton of like zealots, for example, or let's say we're doing tier five zombie slayer. Like, is it, is it one shotting all those? Like, can I just run around with that out? So I'm actually kind of curious. So let's start off by going into the crypts. These things only have 2000 health. Uh, so honestly, let's, let's see how this feels. Okay, this is actually insane. What? I just proc it and run past and it just kills them for me. This actually feels like cheating. Um, okay, that's actually really good. Gonna be completely honest. That is way better than I thought it would be. Can I tell? Oh my god, I can like teleport with the ability active. So let's say we set it off here and we teleport like down here. Okay, and it one shots the golden ghouls. This thing is actually so good. 
what okay i kind of wish i got this thing before but i'm glad we have it now we will definitely be using this for zombie slayer at least now i'm curious if i can kind of do the same thing to zealots and kind of just run around just right clicking and having it do all the work for me so let's go ahead go over to the end and uh see if that's the case okay so we are in the end i'm in the zealot bruiser hideout and uh these places are pretty crowded nowadays but i'm curious how this thing feels there, there's a lot of people in here though but let's say they spawn oh my goodness it actually one shots them it actually does i can literally just teleport out just keep procking this thing hope that my mana keeps up Right now, I'm in actually a decently sweaty lobby, so I, I won't be getting too many kills with it, but I'm not swinging my sword. This thing is just doing all the damage for me. Sometimes you, you do go a little bit too fast for the Fire Veil one to actually tick and kind of proc, so that is a little bit annoying. But And looting doesn't proc on them, but still is just such a much chiller way to grind this. So that's actually really good. Kind of insane, I'm going to be honest. Um, I could picture myself just running around like the main part of the end farming kills for my Final Destination set by doing this. Like if we just do it on regular Enderman, actually, I'm curious. Actually, how does it do against... Oh, wow. It actually does decent amount of damage to that mini boss too. But let's go ahead into the regular part of the end. I want to see how this thing does against the regular Enderman, like in larger spawn areas. So let's head down here, uh, down to the main floor. We just proc this thing, just run around... Yeah, you could very easily farm kills on your set like this. This is actually such a cool item. I wish I had this thing a long time ago, as I said, but better late than never. This is so satisfying to do. You just run around and it just does damage. It's as if it's like thorns, except for they don't have to hit you and it does way more damage. This thing is so cool. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to... Maybe I will do some more Ashfang, try and get some better attributes on it and uh, upgrade them a bit. I mean down the line eventually let's say we're late game and we're grinding bestiary you know let's pretend that that will ever happen but this thing is so much fun wow okay what a cool item something i was looking at too was actually in the essence shop this would help if we do decide to grind summoning eyes like this we can actually upgrade something called recharge where we regen two mana after killing an enderman or endermite it is minimal that is also on the first tier so i'm pretty sure that goes up to like regen regain 20 mana or something like that which would be super nice for teleporting and the ability and basically just making it so we don't have to worry about mana at all down here that would be super nice so it does cost some dragon essence and from the dungeon runs i've been doing recently i've actually collected some uh dragon fragments some young unstable and holy so i'm gonna go ahead and craft boots in all three of these we're gonna go ahead and throw on our mythic ender my pet to help with our sacrifices here but we're gonna go ahead and sacrifice these pieces and hope that maybe we get something extra as well but mainly we want the dragon essence and as i say that that's exactly what we get only 20 dragon essence for those things let's go ahead and do the young boots let's see what we get okay just essence uh ender my pet if you could do me a favor here or the essence for the holy boots which is actually kind of nice and just essence again okay well i don't know what the point is of this ender my pet that thing did not come in handy whatsoever but that should have been another 40 plus 30 uh 70 essence that we can actually use so I was thinking about saving up for Dragon Piper 1. I have maxed out Z-Luck 5, but I do think that we're actually just going to go for regain 2 mana. This thing actually seems pretty nice, not going to lie. I don't know how many times it upgrades, so uh, yeah, let's just upgrade it and see what happens. Okay, it's, it remains at 100, so 4, 5, 6. We can upgrade it 6 times. I don't know what the max is. I believe it's 10, but right now regain 12 mana after killing an enderman or endermite that's actually super nice that definitely adds up and uh any mana back will count i do have a lot of summoning eyes to grind soon um so honestly every little bit and bonus from this dragon essence shop will help a ton so there you have it we have our brand new fire veil wand this thing is so cool i love this item i'm gonna be using this and i'm gonna be making this a main stair on my hot bar because the damage it does definitely adds up how easy it is to use i, I just love this thing so if you guys have any recommendations for what else i can actually put on this thing to make it better please let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching the video at this point you guys are amazing do greatly appreciate the support really appreciate you guys watching the episodes don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below subscribe channel for you guys are new around here don't forget to check out all my other socials in the description down below can't wait to see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m est for another daily iron man upload and without further ado i'll see you guys there take care and peace out